محمد from the US. السلام عليكم شيخ. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. The Prophet Allah said in a hadith and I quote, Do not sell gold for gold, silver for silver, wheat for wheat, barley for barley, dates for dates, and salt for salt, except if it is equal in weight, equal in value, and of the same quality, and if the exchange is immediate and hand-to-hand, end quote. According to this hadith, whoever doesn't fulfill these conditions in regards to the exchange of these six items has fallen into riba. Sheikh, uh, what I wanted to ask you today was, would these conditions of exchange be applicable to all other items aside from the six explicitly mentioned by the Prophet Islam, for example, if I were to exchange 10 copper coins with 12 copper coins of the same kind, or if I were to exchange 10 glass vessels of olive oil with 12 glass vessels of the olive oil of the same kind, and so on and so forth, have I fallen to riba? Jazakum. This is an issue of dispute among scholars who looked into these six categories and they differed. Some say it is intended for itself. Some say it was given just as an example. And there are so many different views. The most authentic opinion is that these six categories are divided into two main categories. The first category is gold and silver. And the reason of prohibition here is that these are values of things. So we value things with gold and silver. How much is this mug? It is one or two grams of this or that, silver or gold. So anything that is considered to be a value of things and the people accept it would fall under this category, such as dollars, euros, rials, dirhams, dinars, and the likes, the currencies. People accept these to be value, so it takes the same ruling. You cannot exchange dollars with dollars unless they are equal. You cannot exchange dollars with euros unless it's on the same platform done simultaneously without any delay in time. The second category is of the other four mentioned items, barley, wheat, dates, and salt. And the scholars said that these are consumable or eatable items that can be stored and that can be weighed or measured by size, by uh, um, liters or the likes. So anything that can be consumed and is weighed falls under the same category, such as corn and raisins and the likes. So if you come to your examples, 12 coins of copper for 12, 10 coins of copper, coins are of value. You buy and sell things. So this is haram. But if you tell me two iPhones for a Samsung, that's permissible. Why? Because they don't fall under the, these two main categories. Um, I want to swap my car with a newer model and I give the difference in cash after we agree upon. There's no problem in that. I hope this explains your or answers your question.